to my channel today. Today I have a spring decor haul for you, a small one to show you, and I also have an Easter charcuterie board that is really super easy to make. So I'm going to start with the haul, and I'm showing you here that I have this shelf that I purchased at Marshall's. This was $19.99. Um, if you remember, I was trying to figure out if I wanted a mug rack or I wanted two shelves. And I have this tiered tray here and I have this small table and I couldn't decide what I wanted. Well, when I saw this shelf mug rack combination and it was the only one in the store, I had to get it. I love that it has the wood here and I love that it has the iron and the peg racks for the mugs. So I went ahead and I snatched that up and I'm so excited to have it hung and I'm going to be styling it for you pretty soon um, in the next video probably. The other thing that I picked up at Marshall's were these little oven mitts. Aren't those so cute? Now I'm just going to use these um, mini mitt set of two. It says 100% cotton. How much were these? Let's see. Where is it's going to be here? There it is. Okay, so these are $4.99, and there's two of them here. If you can see that and then they have the little loops so I'm going to be um, using this to display uh, for decoration so those came from Marshall's also and then I have some things from Michael's that I wanted to show you so the first thing I'm going to show you here is this is like one of these potato mashers and this was uh, retailed $12.99 and then I got it on sale for $7.79 so it was discounted on that um, they had a few of them there but this was the only one they had that was smaller they had some larger ones and I really wanted to make sure that I got this one so I went ahead and bought it sometimes these are the kind of things that I wait until they are clearanced but it's also the kind of thing that if you wait too long then it's gone Okay, so the next thing I want to show you are these ranaculus, ranaculus flowers. I love these. They're so pretty. These were $9.99 and they were discounted to $4.99. So I'll be using those this spring. And then these little pieces here, these are some just some white, little white flowers. $3.99, I got two of these. $3.99, regular priced. And so on sale, they were... Okay, two at two thirty nine. All right, so I paid like four seventy eight for both of those, and then I also got this sweet little bushel of rosebuds here. I think these are so pretty, and then the rosebuds were uh, four ninety nine, and then I got them for two ninety nine. So I just think these look a little bit more realistic than some of the things that you would get at. The dollar store and then I also purchased this kind of the, these white pieces here might be good on their own or they might just be some filler in some baskets with the pink flowers so this one is called a uh, bush foliage it just says it's foliage and this was seven yeah seven ninety nine for that Ashland these are all Ashland by the way and um, so this was $7.99 and then it was one at $4.79, I think. Is that right? Or is that, yeah, yeah, $4.79. So I just wanted to spend a little more with these flowers and I'm gonna use some of these in my entryway and then in a, a basket I have too, so. Uh, be showing you that when I do that. Oh, and I also got some more ribbon. So this ribbon was this. I know you can get something similar to this at the Dollar Tree, but sometimes I go to the Dollar Tree and they're out, and they were out. So it's a little bit different. So I kind of like that old-fashioned kind of antique-looking style. And okay, so the ribbon was. Oh, how much was the ribbon? The ribbon was $3.99. Okay, so the ribbon wasn't on sale, but I still liked it. Okay, 
So that is my little haul that I did, and uh, now we're going to move on to the second part of this video. So we're going to do a fun Easter charcuterie board, and it's going to be pretty simple. And we're going to start with our bowls, and I have some hard-boiled eggs there, and some berries, and some syrup. Um, I did have some jelly there. I thought maybe I would add the jelly also, but I did think that that was too many bowls on the board. So the idea is you set your bowls down and then you just kind of work your food in between. And uh, I do a couple different things here. I'm trying to get my waffles in there the right way. And my waffles are just frozen waffles. Uh, certainly if you wanted to use uh, make homemade waffles or pancakes, that would be awesome. I'm doing a quick charcuterie board because we do go to church on Easter. As a matter of fact, we go most Sundays and um, this is just kind of a quick idea that you can do and set out quickly. And it makes Easter kind of fun and kind of special. What I'm doing here, once I got the waffles and the bowls in the position that I wanted, I'm just kind of hugging the other areas. I'm taking the other food and I'm just kind of hugging it around the bowls there and just filling in all the extra spots and so that all of the board is covered and you really don't see a lot of open spaces. So the great thing about charcuterie boards is that you can put on them pretty much anything you want and you know just make sure that if you're having people over that um, we're, we're probably not supposed to be having people over right now but um, if you're having people you know that you don't know if they have allergies or whatever you probably just want to make sure you're aware of maybe people's allergies before you put the board together because all the food is touching. My hard-boiled eggs are marbleized there and I do have a video for that. I can link it up in the cards on the upper right and I can link it in the description box of this video below if you're interested in knowing how I marbleized those eggs. So I just think this is kind of a fun way to celebrate Easter morning and of course we're going to put candy out because after all it is Easter, right? You might want to put some napkins down in the bowl or plate that you put your eggs on because the food coloring does uh, still come off just a little bit. So you want to be careful of that. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a like or comment below. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you so much for watching. Here is another video for you in case you are interested. And I hope you have a wonderful week.